Take a look at this. <gasps> Isn't this cool? This is uh, some parts of Vermont. Got nearly three foot of snow this weekend. This is video into our newsroom from Stowe. Crowds of skiers, snowboarders out there all hitting the slopes yesterday. As you can imagine, officials at Stowe Mountain <laughs> Resort. That was, and falling. Cool, yeah. <laughs> Uh, say that this late season snow is a gift. That's me out there shredding the pal. Yeah. Well, it's a gift for <laughs> folks who are going out there to go ski, but for us here in Boston, it was a lot of rain. It was a Saturday. lot of rain. rain. It was cold, even really cold this morning with that wind. Yeah, it was a cold rain. We had about two to two and a half inches of rainfall, actually record-breaking mm -hmm. rain for Saturday. Temperatures were right around 33, 34. So if you're out running in that stuff, certainly like you. Not, yeah. and like me, and uh, <laughs> about uh, a couple going. of hundred other people too preparing for the marathon, which is by the way in three weeks, certainly was not wow. the best of weather to yeah. train. However, if that's the worst of things for the training in the marathon, I'm not complaining. How are you right. feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling good, feeling great, ready for this thing. Yeah, All ready right. for it to Speaking happen. Speaking of, that, so that's in three weeks, but coming up in two weeks from today, Priscilla and Cole, I need you guys to get amped up for a total solar eclipse. And it's starting across uh, portions of the Rio Grande Valley in Texas right around 1.30 in the afternoon. And this thing will hit some major population centers across the U.S. About 31 million people are in the path of totality. So that is when the sun is totally covered by the moon. And unlike in 2017, there are about 12 million folks in the path of totality. Here it comes across the northeast. First, it's going to push through the Adirondacks and portions of New York State. There's Vermont at about 3.30 in the afternoon. And then New Hampshire and Maine, too, right around 4.30. 35 as this uh, as this total solar eclipse starts to wrap up and you have to get to the path of totality. I mean, it is phenomenal to be in. There are so many different meteorological phenomena that go on, by the way. There's a temperature change because the sun is covered, so the air cools down. Nature starts to react, by the way, too. It is just going to be an awesome experience. Hopefully, we're cloud free. We actually just posted some information about the eclipse, the chance of cloudy skies or lack thereof for New England, too, on our website at NBC10Boston.com. Hopefully we can shed the clouds. And like today, where it's 41, cloudy, windy and cool as winds are out of the north and northeast at 22 miles an hour right now in Boston, near 40 miles an hour on Nantucket. So that wind from the east and northeast, it is keeping us wedged in the clouds. It is keeping us cool as well. There is a storm system just offshore, and I don't see it coming too far towards the north and west, but it's just close enough to bring us the cloud coverage. And even tomorrow morning, by the way, we'll have one or two spot showers across Cape Cod and perhaps into the city of Boston, too. It's at about 7.30 to 8 in the morning where we see it across Cape Cod and the islands and the south shore as well through Plymouth and Situate and that just sort of flares up towards the north and northwest. It's not in total going to push all the way through. The next beneficial chance for rainfall I think will be Wednesday evening as a front nears and then the front gets close enough. Now we start to get a line of showers at about 7 p.m. But here's the thing about this. The kicker is this. Once this comes through, it's actually staying around into Thursday and perhaps portions of Friday. So here's Thursday morning where we've already got showers lining up from Martha's Vineyard to Nantucket to Chatham and perhaps even Falmouth as well. The amount of rain between now and Friday night, unlike the weekend when we got two and a half inches of rainfall in one day's time, this is likely to be a slow soaker throughout portions of the week. So we're still going to add up to about two to two and a half inches of rain across Metro West, across Cape Ann, and into the city of Boston, but it is spread out. So we're sharing the love through several days and not just one day, although it's rain as we finished out the month of March. Wednesday and Thursday, I think, are the better candidates for those uh, uh, widespread showers, maybe even isolated downpours, but nothing more than that. Nothing severe as well. Check out the warmth on the way with this next oh. system. 57 degrees. That's not that bad, right, if we could hold off the rain on yeah. Wednesday. And even throughout much of the 10-day, we've got highs in the 40s to 50s. So it seems like as we hit to uh, Easter weekend, it's drier, it's warmer, and I think we're turning the tide. I get think April. that the Easter Bunny, a few Easter Bunnies out there, say thank you for a, a sunny weekend ahead, Tev. I'm happy to deliver the fortune. Wow. Oh, boy.